Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Chromatic Craft tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at some uh, at a very useful item that you're going to need for a lot of things, and then we're going to take a look at another item which is very cheap to craft and very simple to use, but requires the more complicated item in order to use it. Uh, what we're going to take a look at, and there's a lot of stuff in my inventory, is the relay source, uh, which you also need these lumen relays for, as well as the uh, enchantment decomposer, which is what we're going to take a look at how to get that working. You need these. Um, so let's get started, right? So uh, first things first, we're going to need to make ourselves the relay source. Now what does this do? Well, uh, to briefly explain what this does, I got one set up over there. You can see it drawing power from the uh, Kajani pylon. I'm not really sure why it keeps drawing power because it's not doing anything with that power, it's just constantly drawing it, and then it quits, and then it draws it again, it's weird. My Kajami pylon, I think, is running a little low on power, too, it's getting kind of gray. Anyway, there are certain devices in Chromaticraft that uh, require crystal energy, require uh, energy from the pylons, lumen energy, but are not able to draw that energy directly from the pylons. Things like the Enchantment Decomposer. So, you need to use the, uh, the relay source, which, if I hold shift, you can see a little beam pylon icon. It can draw power from the pylons, whereas the uh, enchantment decomposer, if you hold shift and look at it, shows you that little icon, which means that it needs to draw power from the lumen relays, right? So basically, this is going to act as a middleman between the pylons and the machines, the devices that, uh, that need the power but can't uh, tap straight into the pylon. So uh, that's what it does. It's pretty cool. I think it sh it has an internal storage buffer. Uh, it can store a certain amount of uh, of each of each uh, you know crystal energy, each lumen energy, and then it sh it uses the relay to the the lumen relays to uh, share that with uh, your machines. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft it. Now, the first thing that we require is something called a crystal focus. Uh, in order to craft a crystal focus, we need a primary crystal cluster, and then we need to. Uh, Surround that with boosted Katrino shards, boosted Nilla shards, and boosted Zambaro shards. We actually need two more of these boosted Zambaro shards. So if I go ahead and I place my primary crystal cluster in the middle of my casting uh, table, place my Zambaru crystal shards in the corners, then if I remember correct, I didn't remember the order yet, uh, Katrino, North and South, and Nilla East and West. I know I did that West and East, but who cares? Uh, we can go ahead and cast this. Ooh. Sound effects and particles. Now we have our crystal focus. So in order to craft our actual relay source, we're going to place our crystal focus right in the middle of our casting uh, table. And then we need to make sure we have some runes in place. These runes are at y equals zero, which means they're on the same level as the actual uh, casting table. Uh, we need to go one, two, three, four, five blocks away, so it's right on the edge of our casting room, and then one away from each corner, with a Kuro, a Nilla, a Tahara, and a Katrino. So I have all of those. And what we're going to do is we're going to go out here to the edge and place it right on top of there. And it needs to be just one block away from the corner, so we got to place it right there. And then the Nilla one, I'm going to go right there. Tahara. Oh, wait, did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Tahara goes right here, and Katrina goes right there. Boom. That is correct. Now we need the actual items, and it fills up the entire thing. It, it looks complicated, but it's really not that, that uh, it's really not that uh, that bad. So we'll just go ahead and grab all of these items that we need into our inventory. Okay, so what we need to do is place some glowstone on the left, uh, east and west inner side. Then we need a tinted crystal lens. It doesn't matter which color you use, but since I previously we previously looked at how to craft curo tinted ones, I'm just using curo tinted ones. Take our iron ingots and cover the bottom layer. Nope, that's the wrong one. I'm trying to click on that. Cover the bottom layer, and then one in upper left and, and right corner, north and east and northwest. We need some of this focal powder, 
one in the bottom, two at the top. Take some obsidian and spread it right on top of your iron. All right? Take the obsidian and put it right in there. We're filling in those gaps. And then we use infused dust in the uppers. Infused dust comes from essence lilies, if you didn't remember. Essence lilies. So there we go. This is the uh, the recipe. You can just if I show, I just want to show it to you one more. It's ah, it's a complex recipe. It uses all the, all the sections, but it's really not that bad. Got it? Let's go. So we can go ahead and cast this. We cast pretty quickly, and now we have a relay source. All you need to do then is place your relay source somewhere where it has access to the. Uh, the types of power that you need. In this case, I needed... I don't need the Kajani, but it's going in there anyway. In this case, I needed the Kiro, and I needed Zimbaru. Unfortunately, my Zimbaru pylon over here seems to be dead. I looked up in the book ways of speeding up the recharge, so I planted a bunch of uh, Zimbaru trees, and I put some, like, power crystals on it, but it's not working. Uh, I don't know if something is wrong with the pylon structure or something, but it doesn't make any sounds anymore, and it's all gray, and it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't do anything. So I don't know what's wrong with it. So if anybody here knows how to fix it, uh, let me know. Because <laughs> I need Zimbaru for stuff, but I, I can't find another one. <laughs> oh. Quite annoying. Let me add a little pause there. I found a Kuro pylon way over there, and I, I laid down some uh, a bunch of repeaters to get my Kuro energy over here, and it does work. Right, so we have the relay source, and it has access to at least one of the resources that we need. But in order to use that, we're going uh, over distance, you would need these lumen relays. Now, I'm pretty sure that the relay itself will send out power at a certain range, but we'll check that. We, uh, you may have, we, we used the relay. Where is it? Where is it in the book? We did use the relay in the Revolution 3 series when we were messing around with the harvester. I wish there was a search function in this book. I want to just be able to search for it. Seriously, where is it? Oh, wait. There's Lumen Relay. Yeah, not all of your constructs draw directly from the repeater network. Others seem to draw via relays, transmit from a central source, which does draw from the pylons and bounce from relay to relay as long as there's a clear line of sight to the target block. <clears throat> Indeed, 16 meters per jump, and each relay needs its input side set. Right, so this is the relay source recipe. And then we go in here, these things like a relay filter, which I don't know what that does yet. And then the actual Lumen Relays. Okay, so this is where it is in the book. It's under Energy and Elements. I expected a picture of the uh, Lumen Relay, which is why I was confused. <clears throat> right. So we do need these, these relays. So you can craft one for each different type of, of element. There's one for each Lumen color. It requires just that you have this basic rune in place. And then it's a really simple recipe. I'll go ahead and place a crystalline stone in your casting table, place one down there, take a boosted shard of whichever one you're wanting to make, and place it just above this, and then put glowstone dust uh, around that, just like this. Replace that shard with the color that you want, and cast it. Ooh. <laughs> Bang. Gives you eight, so it's really good on the resources. However, it can only transmit this, uh, that one color. If you want one that transmits all the colors, you need to get the Omni Lumen Relay, which is an upgrade for it. Requires a diamond, requires a standard uh, Lumen Relay, requires three transmissive dust and four infused dust. So if I just place a diamond in there, grab my infused and transmissive dust, infused dust goes in the corners, transmissive dust goes in those spots, and then we put a Lumen Relay of any color in the bottom, we can now upgrade it into an Omni Lumen Relay. Uses a lot of those dusts, so a little expensive and you only get one. 
but it will conduct all of the elements, which is pretty neat. So if I place these down, you can see what they look like. This is the Zambaru Lumen Relay. You can see that it's kind of got that purple glow. Uh, well, you can place the Omni one, and you see that it's got it shifts, it changes between all the colors. So there you go. It's pretty neat. Okay. So, oh right. Uh, if you're gonna chain these over a long distance, then what you need to do is you need to set the input side, okay? And if you hold your elemental manipulator in your hand and right click on one of the sides of a lumen relay, it'll put this sort of little symbol on it. And you can only have that symbol on one side. That's the side that's going to be receiving the power, right? So if I was chaining power from that relay and I was going this way, this would be an input side, and this would be an input side. You get what I'm saying? So you have to set the input side on these, otherwise they don't work. But I, I assume that then that they'll transmit in any of the other directions. And it just needs line of sight. I don't think they have to actually be orthogonal. Okay. So uh, now that we've got that, we're going to need to craft the actual elemental decomposer that we want to actually use. So in order to craft this enchantment decomposer, I mean, you don't even need, you just need a standard Kuro rune in your debt table. You don't need any of the other st uh, stuff. It's a standard uh, casting table recipe, which is interesting to me since uh, you need all this other stuff in order to use it, which is interesting. But there we go. That's the recipe. It's a very basic machine, crafts extremely quickly, and, you know, it's, it's of a modicum of use. So I've got one over here already, but just to show you what happens if I break that, I'm going to place it down, and we can see it doesn't have any Kuro in it. I've got an Omni Lumen Relay right here, and I'm going to set the input side, like right there. Why is no Kuro going in there? This should have Kuro in it, this relay source. Oh, why does it appear to have no power? It should have the power. This was working earlier. I placed this down with an Omni Rumen relay, and it filled up. And my Kuro should be coming. That's weird. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know why it's not gaining power, because it should be gaining power because this was working before. Unless my Kuro pylon is drained. I don't I don't get it. Anyway, maybe someone who knows more about this than I do can help me out. Basically, this is the enchantment decomposer. And I'm gonna swap over to the Revolution 3 world where we have a you know all the lumen power that we could uh, we could want, and uh, I'll show you it working over there. You see, we just saw the black. There we go. There's some Kuro power, but we're not getting any. It's weird. I think my pylon, the pylon is drained. I, I don't understand it. Anyway, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go over there, and I'm gonna show you this thing in action. We're here in the Rev3 world where we have like a full supply of lumens, and uh, so I've got a relay source right here, and I've got a, uh, a lumen relay, uh, which in this case is an Omni one. And uh, I've got my enchantment decomposer right here. It's charged with uh, Zambaru and Kuro, which is what it needs. Uh, I could charge it with, obviously, I could charge it with Kuro in, in the uh, tutorial world, but not the Zambaru. Um, so we can show you how this thing works. So all you do is you take something that's got an enchantment on it, and you stick it in, and then... What's it doing? There we go. It uh, uses some of the power and decomposes your uh, your enchanted item and gives you some liquid chroma. So it's a trash can essentially for all of the stupid little um, enchanted but almost destroyed items that you tend to find in loot chests uh, all the time. You really do find a lot of them. So you can just chuck them in here to at least get something useful some liquid chroma. Kind of neat. Works. Gives you a take stuff that you don't need, gives you something that you might want. 
Oh, I don't know why it's not charging right now. But, uh, yeah. Where's my... Do I have to, like, do a thing? I don't know. It charged up earlier. Uh, but there we go. So that's how it works. Uh, now you, you see it work in there. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple thing. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, it does one thing and it, it does what it says it does. It, it takes those enchanted items and destroys them and gives you some liquid chroma. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, the relay source, of course, is going to be a very uh, important item. Uh, important for a lot of things like this that can't uh, draw their power directly from your, uh, your Lumen network. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and comment down below if you did enjoy the episode. And join our Discord if you're interested. I'm not on there as much as I want to be. Because I'm working a lot. But uh, hopefully I'll see you there sometime. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.